while he can for the next four days. Yeah, my boy living his best life like Chance right now. Yup. Although Chance fans are in shambles, they ain't liking the new album uh, to drop. Uh. <laughs> Let's drop. It's rub out here. Oh, Wario? Oh, hello. Hello. Shout yep, out to Kalani. Yep, Hikaru uh, plays Wario. I remember he started that during Frostbite as well. So right now, game one here on Smashville. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a best of five now, so we're going to see what plays yeah. out. So Zaki already putting on a huge amount of damage onto Hikaru's Wario. 83 already. He knows where to place his hitboxes. If I'm if I'm correct, yeah, he caught or Zaki got eliminated out of Winterside by Glutoni, so he has a little bit of experience in this matchup, or he at least has been thinking about how to combat Glutoni yep. in this matchup. So you can see that paying off right here as he has Hikaru at 120 and looking to take his first stock very early. I can. This might be hindsight speaking, but I feel like uh, yeah. Hikaru might not oh. be very confident in this matchup yeah. as Pokemon trainer and maybe probably even DK. But unfortunately, that forward air is definitely going to seal out Hikaru's first stop. Zaki's looking very clean at the start of this game one and loses top eight. My boy looking nice right now. He's looking now. ready for Gluto. Yep. Oh, hey. not ready for that one though. Hey, hot potato. You, you hold that, man. Yeah, hold that one. Zaki's still not at kill percent yet. And Hikaru is just getting boxed out by DDD's hitboxes here. He's getting boxed out by the Gordo, the forward air, the Nair. He just cannot get in on Zaki. Has him at kill percent, however, if he can land like a forward tilt, forward smash, something like that. Bikes going off stage. Gets clipped by the up air. He's a little bit too close to the ledge. Zaki taking advantage of that. Now has Hikaru once again at kill percent. Oh, the dash attack doing it for Hikaru. Yep. Now we're gonna see how uh yeah Hikaru is gonna come back and you know oh. never mind forget yeah. coming back forget just going out it's gonna get back to even right now Zaki now sitting two stocks to Hikaru's one is waft online it just turned on yep. he has an opportunity Wario is one of the best comeback characters in the game with that waft on so let's see if he can make those cheeks clap no hands you feel me mm -hmm. okay. back here out of shield this, this definitely will uh, even up the stocks if you can get these uh, the walk confirm going. From yeah, the you neutral can see area, it. even the up air. He was looking for it. He tried the neutral air out of shield right there as Zaki landed with an attack. But Zaki is staying on him. It's him with the up air. 81 damage already. It's stacking high quickly. Uh oh. He's underneath. Yep. Great positioning for Wario. And he just lets the waft go. Almost breaking the shield right there. Yeah, but now that his shield's low, he's just going in. He knows that he can't shield any of these arrows, but that shield is probably fully recharged at this point. Yep, but then on Hikaru's side, he's gonna go in just so he can seal out the stock a little bit faster because now his best KO option is off the table. So it doesn't even matter no more. Absolutely. And Hikaru's yes. really got nothing to worry about. And the up smash to catch the landing, not killing though. Great play by Zaki, but not enough to end it. Is Hikaru, yeah. the back air, not enough still. Still a chance for Hikaru to come back here. Oh wow, he Ooh, armored straight through, through it. it. Amazing. Uh oh, here come the high percent combos. He almost caught him with the back air there, trying to catch his landing. He is so close to dying, literally the next hit. Oh, that back air definitely almost would have took it, but unfortunately, a uh, Nair came out. Coming from Hello? Hikaru? Hikaru? Oh, the up tilt from the back is gonna be Hikaru's life. And as my he loses boy said, front to back. <laughs> or back to back. front. Back to front. Yeah, whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> Nigga, I whip my crown back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. The king himself. Zaki yep. taking game one over Hikaru. Remember, this is best of five set here. Oh, man, Hikaru says he has some wiggle room. Hikaru has some wig wiggle room. He might swap to another character. He might go back to PT. The Wario was looking fine, but like he just kind of had trouble like getting in on Zaki. Yep. And he goes back to Wario. Yep, he's going to stick it through. Probably, uh, maybe found some download, maybe figure out what he was doing wrong, what he would, maybe was doing right in some interactions. But, game two here on Yoshi's Story. Let's go. A little bit of a smaller space, so Zanki, or Zaki can't have a lot of space to run around. Hikaru looking to close the gap and get in on him here. He's just waiting on the platform for his opportunity to come down. Start some damage. 
similar to how Glutony was playing his set versus Zaki. Not approaching heavy, waiting for that opportunity. Here it comes, the Nair 2 is hitting. Yep. And my boy came over there to touch him with the bangers real quick. Yeah. And the sticky fives. Zaki's going through the Wario gauntlet tonight. Yeah, right. Testing his matchup knowledge. Oh, couldn't land on the platform to extend that one. But he jabs him straight through the bike. Oh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Right now, percents are almost pretty even. Uh, not looking too bad. Yeah. With uh, Hikaru actually finally getting a lead in this set. Yeah, Hikaru's doing just fine here on Yoshi's story. Oh, just barely avoiding the neutral right there. Using the bike to combo. Throwing yep. it up. Not to mention, uh, due to the fact that uh, DDD has very low air speed and air drift, he is catching him in the space with that bike so he can't commit further. And killing him with that bike, speaking of which, yeah. on stage, Hikaru finally actually gained a lead in this uh, best of five set right now here on game two. And that's gonna be great for Wario, especially once the WAF comes online in about another, what, 30 seconds, a minute? It's gonna be great for him to allow him to ascend his lead if he keeps this pace up. And look at how he's chasing him around center stage, just spamming the neutral air. And my boy hitting him with the- Oh wall. my god! Ooh. What the up B? Hey, I've never said, seen that! Hey, what you doing in my airspace? My Get god! Hikaru is turning it on here in game two versus Zaki. He's my not boy. playing any games. Man, my boy was looking like a Charizard using fly out there. He Let's really go. was, he really was. And you can see right now, just like Wario, Hikaru's all about the bag. He's trying to win this set. He's gonna take this game if he can. But Zaki's, it, it ain't looking Z easy. Hikaru, who are you? I wanna know. I've never seen this man. What have you done with the, oh! He's plus, Ooh. oh he goes straight for the WAP. I like yeah. the idea. But a little bit high committal right there, yeah. unfortunately. Did not work out. Like the difference between uh, where Hikaru Decides to use his Waff versus Bluto, you can really see. That boy trying to hit him with the Kakashi right now. But again, front to back. Yeah. <laughs> or back to front. He's going to be taking uh, Hikaru's first stock right there. This is this is not going to be easy whatsoever for uh, okay. for uh, Zaki to come back on. His shield is so small, he really can't shield any of these down tilts anymore from Hikaru. Hikaru looking to end this game right here. Goes for the dash attack, just barely whiffs. Yep. Playing around the Gordo, using the bike. Oh, look at him go. So much pressure on Zaki right now. <laughs> it's looking bleak. Hey, that's how it be, Strides, man. Yeah. People, people forget about uh, Hikaru out here. Hey, they're gonna be, this is the reminder. Tonight, tomorrow night, and Evo. They're gonna remember the name. Yep. Oh, my Ooh. goodness, Zaki with the clutch back air. And just like that star on the hammer, man, you're going to be seeing stars. Go out there. Absolutely. He has an opportunity. D3 has a lot of lasting ability. And as I say that, the back air connects for Hikaru, putting them at 1-1 in the set. Yep. And DDD not really having the greatest of ledge op or get off ledge options at ledge. So really the best you can do is either, you know, jump with a fair Roll, roll is pretty slow on his end. Get up attack, get up yep. attack doesn't really have a lot of range. But considering he's big, there is a, a big hitbox at the very least, maybe. Yeah. And uh, and just standard get up is it's not really all that great, but hey, man, you gotta hey. you gotta take what you got and make it work. Exactly. So now one and one, losers top eight, best of five set between Hikaru playing Wario and Zaki. You know, I would like to see Zaki do now that uh, Onion has mentioned that in chat as far yeah. as uh, Gordo goes. I would like to see if he uh, uses the Gordo and sticks it on the ledge where yeah. Hikaru can't recover. Which at that point, he, uh, Hikaru is going to have to go high. Which easily Zaki can cover with a back air or a neutral air. That uh, would be interesting to see from Zaki. He's just playing strong game plan right now. But whenever Hikaru gets in on him, it's so much damage. Yep. He's Hikaru. taking that Nair and just running it. He's getting a lot of mileage yeah. out of it. But it's going to be a little bit harder now because of the larger stage in town and city. Zaki's going to have a lot more space to try to bait in Hikaru and create some openings in neutral. Yep, and as I mentioned before, uh, Hikaru, or just a Wario in general, is going to have a lot of room to build up their walk. But right now, it's almost looking like a My reverse goodness. of game two. Jesus! Such an early stock from Zaki. Only at 71% for himself. It was pretty even at the start of game two, but now 
it's got to be the stage. It's got to be the space that he's working with, able yep. to create a lot more openings versus Hikaru. Oh, hello. Is that walk going to do it? No. Is he going to drop zone back yeah. here? No. Good job on uh, Zaki yeah. just going super low yep. and DDD having a lot of jumps. But unfortunately, that's not going to matter with that back air is going to take Zaki's first stock. And percents are almost pretty even. Now Hikaru waiting for his next opportunity to land that neutral air and start the big combo. As you can see, I'm jumping around Zaki, trying to make him throw out a bad move. He gets caught by the Gordo, though. Great timing by Zaki. He comes down with the neutral air into the forward air. Oh, no. The inhale was a whiff, and he's going to be taking damage for it. I like how Hikaru was safe, waiting in shield on the ground for Zaki to land. Don't want to challenge G3 while he's landing. He can get so much off of that landing there. So waiting around in neutral. The platforms are going to assist him now in the combos. Zaki, staying patient as ever. Yep. Oh my goodness. I, I, <laughs> these item plays scare me. Baiting nice him right there because he jumped. He, uh, Zaki probably figured the guy was going to go for a bear, but instead uh -oh. he went for a bite right there. Oh, that was a very presumptuous dash attack by Zaki. Missing on Hikaru. He has time to get back to the ledge. He's going to go for the back air again. Yep. Oh, and the up tilt. He keeps going for the half charge waft. And now, like, he pretty much is not going to have waft for the rest of this game, I've, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's going to take about roughly two minutes for it to come back online. And by that time, who knows what's going to happen. Yep, and I think half uh, half charge waft takes about 40 seconds less, so about a minute uh -oh. 10. Oh, he jumped back up into the up air, got put back on stage. That was so close. The bike almost killed him. Oh, my God. Items clashing and then breaking through with the dash attack. Hikaru in the advantage here. He's trying to look for the back air to end this stock. Yep. Amazing pressure by Zaki with the Gordo. That was so clean. That was so clean. All right. That was, that was clever. That was definitely smart. He's like, oh, you going to come right here in this space? Hold this Gordo, bro. You ain't going nowhere. That was very nice. Yeah, very hitting him with those read. own custom combos off the top after seeing Hikaru kill him with that upbeat. And now evened up in stocks one to one while the set count is one to one. Who's going to take the advantage in this set? The loser's top eight. It's the first match. Yep. I like what Zaki's doing. He's not really trying to uh, let go of the shield because he sees that Hikaru is really trying to get these nares so he can get his combo game started, which is a very common thing for a lot of Warriors to do, or even just a falling up air so they can lead it into an up tilt. So Hikaru's doing a good job, but actually getting caught sleeping right there, yeah. getting pushed off stage. But percents are almost even, just really a 5% difference. Oh, another Nair. Second Nair not hitting. I like how he jumped off the bike there. Very yep. clever plays by Hikaru right now. Oh man said, take that portal oh, back. The Come command on. grab. He's gonna wait for it. He's gonna look for the back air here in the corner. Back air up tilt, yep, that's the frame trap. Ooh, almost getting that tech chase re right there. Oh, he's pressing a little bit too many buttons here next to... Oh, the, the half-charge waft worked again. All right, that was good. That was clever because yeah. because he actually has been going for a aerial follow-up off the waft after he either lands a falling up air or up tilt. Um, not falling, but obviously an up tilt into yeah. a waft. So instead, he knew, okay, he's probably going to air dodge. Let me not do anything. Let him neutral air dodge to fall down to the ground, and then bam, I'm going to hit him with the waft, and it's over with. Go to the blast zone. And he tried that half-charge waft, but that was the third time he tried it in that one game. Yep. And uh, Zaki lost his set to Glutony from a half-charge waft. Those half-charge wafts are, like, they deadly, the main of his existence right now. And right now, we are taking this to a game four. Going to Lilac. Lilac is beautiful. All right, so Hikaru now on set point. Oh my God, Zach, he's dead. Zero. My boy Zero the Devil? He's dead, Jeez. Lilac is so small. I want to know why he dropped his shield. What happened? And either way, okay, he's coming back with it. 80% on Zaki now. <laughs> and Hikaru said, hey Zaki, you need to go to the clinic. You got the clap right yeah, now, hey, so uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh. you need to get that checked out. Uh, while I'm racking up this damage and trying to take your stock right now. Bro. Okay. Bro, these game threes are turning out to be insane in the latter half of this tournament. Okay, Zaki looking to extend his lead right here. 80 almost percent on Hikaru. Rolls in on the tech chase, gets out of there, yep, and now has the ledge to play with. Excuse me! Don't ever do that. <laughs> he tried to disrespect him so hard. Literally like double jump down air. 
this is looking like a reverse of like games right now. Man. Yeah. Like Hikaru had the lead in game two, Zaki had the lead in game three, and right now Zaki is just it's his again in game four. Zaki's trying to take this to a game five and saying he's gonna continue on through yeah. top eight. This this, this counterpick to Lila is working out wonders for Zaki as he takes the second stock from Hikaru. My boy is getting blocked right now. No, <laughs> you saying pull? Jesus. Okay. And my boy Zach, uh, Zaki yeah. was prepared for the Olympics. Well, unfortunately, that dash attack is definitely going to take Zaki's first stop. Yeah, and you would think because he did so well on Yoshi's story, the smaller stage would be a benefit for Hikaru, but it's the exact opposite. He's getting worked. Look for the backer right here from Zaki. Throws him right back off stage, sets up the Gordo. He is all over this man. Zaki is covering every option as he gets hit by the bike. Hikaru has an opportunity to add on to some percent. Will he do it here? Trying yep. to catch the lane. There's the full waff online. Nice! Down it. Right there, yep. As you know, DDD doesn't have armor as soon as he yeah. gets to the peak of the, uh, the ascent right there. Uh-oh. So uh oh Hikaru might have an opportunity. That upbeat almost killed on the corner. Oh, if Zaki was really brave, yeah. he would have he let it be, but... Yo! He could come back. One combo. If All I'm... he needs is to get him to, like, 40. Yep. Oh, God. The nair. The up air. It's Make all... it clap. No hands, Hikaru. Let's do it. He Ooh, takes the set three. Let's One. Go. Hikaru's a madman with Wario. Gutoni better. Watch out. And that was very smart from uh, Hikaru. He actually just dropped the combo, but instead, it's not that bad because he knew, okay, he's going to probably air yeah. dodge. So... Yeah, he was still so in advantage. Me, so. Yeah, so let me just wait for him to air dodge or just to make uh, an aggressive option, and then I can punish and get that confirm more better and more reliably. Exactly, and that was such was a smart play. And to come back after getting – he was getting worked on at the first part of that game. Yep. Like, it looked like he was about to get three-stocked. 